All right, so next up, we're gonna see if we can't get the plastic on our end walls. Uh, it's it's about as calm of a day as, as you can ask for around here. We get a little bit of a breeze coming through from time to time, but hopefully we won't get any of that too much for a little while here. So the way we're hooking this on is with the wiggle wire. And as you can see, it's just kind of a, you know, wiggly, wavy looking piece of wire. And we just take that and it just fits into this track just like that. So you'd have your plastic across here first. And then once the plastic's in front of there, then you just push the plastic into the track and this holds it in place. So it's a pretty simple way to do it. Uh, so long as the wind doesn't blow too hard. So this should be the end wall plastic. I'm assuming there's two pieces here, uh, but I guess we need to get this folded out and figure out which way is which. Oh wait, 30, okay, this is 32 by 30. So actually that, okay, it's one piece. We'll have to cut that because this is like 14 or 15 feet tall. So yeah, okay, this will be one piece. So we need to get this thing stretched out, probably get it cut, and then we can work on getting that up. All right, so it's about 36 this way. Uh, it said it was only supposed to be 32, what was written on this piece of uh, plastic here, but it's about 36, and then I think it is right about 30, well, in the direction that it's kind of crumpled up along through here. So the high tunnel is around 13-ish feet tall, so I think this is the direction that we want the plastic to be going. I'm not gonna bother with cutting it right now. I think what I'm gonna do is try getting it up and in place, and then once it's there, then just cut it, and however much is left over is left over. That might not be a good idea, but that's uh, that's the way we're going to try it because it doesn't really specify on if there's a, a better way to do this. So hopefully this doesn't turn into an episode of Watch Josh Go Hang Gliding Down the, uh, the Valley here on a piece of high tunnel plastic. Um, but yeah, I guess uh, let's see what happens. Well, that went up relatively well, actually. Uh, this side over here, I'm not sure if you can quite see it in the uh, in the video or not, but it's a little bit wrinkly over on this side. It's not quite as smooth as I'd like it to be. I think, yeah, you might be able to see it a little bit more from that angle. But this side over here, that's nice and tight. Uh, because it's such a small area, it was pretty easy to get that all, all stretched just right. Um, I might come back and mess with this side later on. I'm not gonna do it right now because I just wanna get everything up and at least usable. Um, and then I can mess around with trying to make it look pretty later on. So I think at this point, I can go through and cut off all of our excess, get all that out of there, and then we can start working on the other end.
So yesterday, no sooner did I get the plastic cut off of the bottom, uh, it started pouring down rain and it rained for the rest of the day. So I wasn't able to continue on getting the plastic on the other end. And now today, behind that rain we got, we've got a whole bunch of wind. So there is no way we're gonna have a chance at getting the plastic on the other end with this wind blowing today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on trying to build uh, the doors today, see if we can't get that part done, and then maybe tomorrow the wind will let up and we can start putting plastic back on again. Okay, actually the first thing I'm gonna do is cut off all of this extra plastic, because this is, it's starting to bug me just a little bit having it flapping around here while I'm trying to uh, figure out what my measurements and stuff are. So we're gonna get that cut off first and then we can work on the doors. Alrighty, so because we have wiggle wire track going around our doorway, uh, I've decided that what I need to do is I need to have a spacer board that's going to bring our box rail that our door is gonna slide on. Uh, that way it brings the box rail out and it comes out past where our wiggle wire track is because of the, the track is probably an inch, three quarters of an inch or an inch sticking out from kind of the, the, the main surface of the end of the high tunnel. So what we've got here is a little piece of locust. This came from our stash of logs out in the field there. Most of those are firewood, but a few of these were just big enough that uh, we could get a little bit, of, little bit of wood out of them. So we're gonna see if we can't get a few boards out of this thing.
All right, so we got our door hung up here. Obviously, still got to get the plastic on that, but we got that up and in place. We got the track going all the way along there. Uh, I think, like I mentioned before, I've only got the enough track for this side. I've got the rest of it on order, but I don't know when that's going to come in. So it's really calmed down out here uh, today. Uh, there's there's hardly any wind or any breeze at all right now. So I think I'm actually going to see if I can get the plastic up on the other end. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of daylight left here, but it's so still out here that I think I ought to at least make an attempt to try getting that up this evening. Alrighty folks, well that is going to be it for this time. As you can see, we got all of our end wall plastic up. And so our next step is going to be to get the main plastic going up over the, uh, the entirety of the high tunnel. So that's going to be it for today. As always, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you next time.